Smith smiled at Crane. Crane got up and motioned Smith over to a large conference table on the other side of the room. Smith followed Crane over to it. Lying on top of the table was a map of a town. Crane pointed at the map. What do you see? Smith took a moment to study the map, wondering if he was missing something. Finally, he replied, It looks like a really small town. Very good, Mr. Smith. It is a town. It's a town in which we are going to steal something. Smith just stood there and stared at the map. Crane waited as if he expected Smith to say something. So he did. So what are we going to steal? Crane pointed at the map and said, It sits right here. Smith leaned in to see where his finger was pointing. Founders Park? Yes, Founders Park. There is a statue in the middle of the park, and we are going to steal it. Smith scowled in disbelief. A statue? Now, Mr. Smith, it's not like any statue you have seen before. It's one of a kind. If you say so. Crane frowned slightly but went on. Now we will come from the east along the road that leads into town. Smith leaned down to see what he was talking about. Okay, I'm with you so far. When we get about a mile out of town, we will walk the rest of the way. We will be met, of course, by the town's population. I would say maybe around forty are left there. We will try and reason with them. If that doesn't work, we kill them all. Why don't we sneak into town and catch them by surprise? Asked Smith. No, replied Crane. They have surveillance and that won't do any good. They will know we're coming as soon as we get to the canyon mouth and start inward. Smith shrugged. I've never seen a whole town that was protected by surveillance cameras before, but I'm sure my men can cut the feed to the cameras anyway. It's not that kind of surveillance. Trust me on this one. It's nothing like you have ever seen. You're the man paying the bills, replied Smith. Indeed I am. Now, shall we proceed? When we get into town, we will be met by the sheriff. I will talk to him and tell him to leave. We should have fifteen of your best men with me in the street. Have your second team of men with night vision goggles and sniper rifles set up to cover us and search out the townspeople who will be waiting for us. If they don't want to leave, then we take action and kill them all. Once they are all dead, we go to the large warehouse and get the equipment we need. In this warehouse, Crane pointed to the building on the map, there will be a tractor trailer. And this warehouse, he moved his finger over to the next building on the map, is where the heavy equipment will be located. Smith nodded his head in acknowledgement. Crane turned to Smith. The men you hired... Are they cold-blooded killers? Will they have a problem wiping out a town? Smith met Crane's gaze squarely. No, sir. For what you're paying us, my men have no issue with that. Good, good, replied Crane. Do you see this building here? Smith leaned over to see where Crane was pointing. Yes, I see it. That's the town's bank. I think there should be at least five million in there. So once there is no one to stop us, your men can have that as a bonus. Smith smiled at him. That would be a pretty nice bonus. Crane turned to Smith. Are we clear on this? Yes, sir, Crystal. I do have some questions, though. You may ask your questions, replied Crane. How did you come up with this map and know what equipment is in what building? Second, what is the name of this town? Crane grinned and said, It's Gladstone, and I used to live there. One last question. How are we supposed to wipe out a town and not worry about the consequences? Don't worry about that. Once we're done and before we leave, we will bury the town by blowing out the sides of the canyon cliffs. 
It will look like Mother Nature took care of them. Smith nodded his head in approval. You have this all figured out. So, any idea when we do this, so I can tell my men? Soon, replied Crane with an evil grin.